Hello to all my viewers, this is Magical Amazing, and today's tips and tricks episode is going to be on circles and cylinders. When it comes to circles, you want to guess as little as possible and trace as much as possible. You could use a compass if you have one, but if you don't, there's some examples on the table. There are circles everywhere, you just need to look for them. You can see these five different sized circles from just these things here. We've got the larger end of the cup makes the big circle, smaller end makes the smaller makes the smaller of these two. The tape made that one, this cap made this one, and this paper towel roll or toilet paper roll made the little one. And it's as simple as popping them out to make a perfect circle. When it comes to cylinders, there are four main types of cylinders I use. Uh, small paper cylinders, uncorrugated cylinders, half corrugated and full corrugated. Uh, and they're all used for different reasons. Paper is used for small cylinders that need to be long and smooth. Um, if you tried to do that with corrugated cardboard, it would end up edgy and, and weird. Um, usually I use them for barrels, things like that. Now we have the uncorrugated cardboard. This is uh, very simple. So this is very thin, and it's just a piece of cardboard with the corrugation taken off. In fact, what it is is the corrugation taken off of this piece. This is half corrugated, so this is a good um, cylinder to make uh, when you need a little bit more support, but it's aesthetic mostly. So you have a very smooth outside like that. Now we have the full corrugated cardboard. Try to You could try to avoid using these as much as possible just because, as you can see, even with effort, you end up with ridges and bumps. But th these are the sturdiest and provide the most support. So the situation in which you would use a cylinder will dictate which one you're going to use. As an example, here is a scope that I built. You can see there are ridges and the uh, cylinder parts are not very smooth. By comparison, here is a scope I made using these techniques. You can see how much smoother the, um, the cylinder parts are as compared to this one. When making a cylinder, and I'm going to use the half corrugated cardboard as an example, if you just bring it together and glue it like this, you will end up with this big ugly gap here and you can see the step down that it takes. There is a very simple solution to that problem. That involves taking a pencil, shoving it in the corrugation, take off a little bit, then just cut off that piece of corrugation. Now you have a little bit here that you can just go around and glue like that. So what ends up happening is you are left with a seam that is much, much smaller and the step is almost unnoticeable. Anyway, this is Magical Amazing, signing off till next time. See y'all later.